Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Nostalgia by Demon Arisen. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. Nostalgia is an old map I found sitting in my editor, which for some reason I never published. Judging by the mapping style and the fact that it uses such stock Puzzle Maker rather than BMod, I estimated this from around 2015 to 2016. No idea why I didn't publish it at the time, it might just be forgotten about. Regardless, here it is now, completely unchanged from the state I found it in. There may be design flaws and unintended solutions present, but I'm not going to fix them as I want to preserve the original. Think of it as a museum exhibit. I thought publishing this test would show people that my old puzzles, what my old puzzles were like, and providing a long and provide long-term demonism fans with a bit of nostalgia, as well as being a perfect way to celebrate the fact that I recently passed 300 followers. Congratulations! Wow, I'm overjoyed and humbled that so many people like my puzzles so much. Thank you, every single one of you, from the people who leave fantastic comments and brighten my day, to the friends in the mapping community who I have exchanged ideas with and helped me improve, even the people who just play and move on. If not for you, I wouldn't still be making puzzles today, and I'm more invested in puzzle design than ever before, and my puzzles are ever improving. So thank you, so thanks for much, so thanks very much to all you followers, and here's to the next 300. Congratulations, Demon. Without further ado, let's jump into the video, into the map even, I don't know what I'm saying. Those long, um, blurby intros from Demon sometimes throw me. Um, also, it's rare to see a, 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 a map description from Demon, which doesn't include a Cave Johnson story. Anyway, I digress. Let's crack on, shall we? I believe we shall. Oh, wait. Woo! Gotcha. Not gonna wanna do anything from there. So, question is, though, Here's an interesting thought. We... I know, I'm gonna sound like that. Um, Aaron video. Um, how are we gonna use the funnel again? How are we gonna use the funnel again? Interesting thought. Right, so. Let's go over here. Maybe we can use the light bridge, actually. Yeah, maybe that's how we're gonna... Rock and roll. So, somehow I need to get that over to there. That's pretty standard, straightforward stuff, I think. I think we can manage that one. Are you doing something a bit like that? That seems be about the right sort of place. Now the question here is going to be does the cube auto respawn? It doesn't need to. Or does it? Well yeah because we're going to lose that aren't we? Alright it does auto respawn. Fantastic news. Here's food for thought, though. <clears throat> what do I do now? We can do that. That's fine. It's all good. Okay. So, next up. That dropper is not in line with the funnel. But I kind of think next up we're going to want to work our way back to the beginning be a good bet. Not that I am a betting man. And that was the wrong portal. Let's try that again. Alright. We have the funnel back.
Doesn't really help me though, does it? Let's be honest. No false hopes up there, was there? Nope, there was not. No way to reverse fawn, so it's not going to be a, a, a cube respawn to push in, like, to get it to go into the funnel, because there's no way to, like, pull the funnel through. Um, it's got to come from this side, though. Ah, okay. I, I think I see what, see what I need to do here. But then, yeah, that's a that's a problem, isn't it? Hold on, if I push, if I do this, right, I do all the sub, and then what if I then once I got the funnel back, I can push the cube off the button into the goo, respawns, and hopefully we can get it up to there. So that's what I'll go with right now. Let's just see if it actually works out in practice. Okay. So, here's what I think, here's what I think, something like, alright, maybe I'll go across here first. Let's go to here, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, which gets me up here with the cube, that's it. Now I can carefully, that's what the light markers are for, position that there. So then when I swap the portal onto this panel here, it should retain the position of the cube. A bit like that. And then we just need to swap that again. Cube trumps off over there. La 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 la. And we mosey on over to the exit. Very good map, Demon. Uses few elements. Quite simple, but still a good puzzle. It's got all the hallmarks of a good puzzle, that, guys. It's not about using lots and lots of elements, it's about using elements carefully, cleverly, and logically. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you've got any match to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link to that's in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.